Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. My name is Jamie, and I am so excited for today's video. We are filming my absolute favorite video to film every month, which is choosing out my TBR for the upcoming month, which we are already a couple of days into August, but I haven't had a chance to sit down and film this video until today. So I think today, yeah, today is August 4th, so not too, too bad. But I have my TBR jar, my TBR pot. <laughs> um, and every single month I have a bunch of prompts in here and I have my TBR cart. But as you know, I also have unread books on my shelf because I have over 150 books that are unread in my collection. But essentially I pick out anywhere from like seven to eight prompts and I try to choose books from my TBR cart and my shelf that match that prompt and then those are the books that I am hopeful that I will read for the upcoming month. I don't always stick to my TBR. We know this. We know this is a very loose TBR. However, I really do like having a set TBR just so that when I don't really know what I'm in the mood to read, I can kind of come to my TBR and kind of pick through it and it gives me just a loose list of books to choose from. I am quite a mood reader but I do like having the option of having a TBR. So without further ado I'm going to start by choosing out our first prompt for what I'm in the mood for this month. August is obviously the end of summer and summer I've really been in my romance reading era. I feel like I don't really reach for romance other than the summer. Like I feel like every other season throughout the year. I am in a fantasy or even like a just like general fiction or thriller mood but summer really screams romance to me so I would like to choose at least a couple of romances that are on my TBR because I know that this is kind of the last chance for me to read them until next summer. But yeah I'm so excited. Let's go ahead and pick out the first prompt. I'm gonna give them a little mix so excited. This is honestly my favorite thing to do every month. So our first prompt is a book that takes place at a school. I love an academic setting for a book. Um, honestly, this could be a couple. I know for a fact that... Where even is this? I know for a fact that the Grimrose Girls takes place at a school. This has been on my TBR before and I just haven't gotten to it. So that is an option. I think I'm going to have to go with The Grimrose Girls because this is the only book that I have that takes place at a school other than Harry Potter, but I don't have the first Harry Potter. I have like the other one, so maybe this will be the month. Maybe this will be the month that I actually read this book. Time will tell. Second prompt. Nope, one fell out, so I will take that as a sign. Husband picks. That's so fun. Okay, let me let me call him in here. He's he's home, so let me call him in here. Okay, my husband is here. He's gonna pick out a book. So these are all unread. A lot of these are also unread. So if you pick a book, it's it's likely unread and fair game. I know what one you're gonna pick. You want to read that in October, don't you? I do. You could you could pick it. Yeah, read The Shining. The Shining. And then I'll read it when you're done. Okay. <laughs> cool. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so my husband chose The Shining by Stephen King. Um, he really wants to read this book as well, so he's going to read it after me. But yeah, I'm excited. I This will be my first Stephen King book. And right now my husband is reading it, and I really want to read it after him, but I really want to save that for October, so I feel like this will be a good intro to Stephen King, so yay! On to the third prompt. I think we'll do eight, just because I have so much fun doing this. Ooh, a predicted five-star read. Oh, that's a good one! I'm sorry, I have to sit a little lower. Can I do it like that? Is that? Predicted five-star read. So that is so exciting. Um, I have a few here. So one predicted five-star read is The Ballad of Never After. I read Once Upon a Broken Heart last month and I gave it four and a half stars and I feel like this is like everyone's favorite in the series. So that's definitely a five-star prediction. I feel like I'm really going to enjoy The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I just feel like this could be a five-star. Another five-star prediction would be 
The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna, which I feel like everyone loves, so I feel like I will also love it. Another five-star prediction that I don't think I'm going to pick out this month <laughs> is When the Moon Hatch by Sarah A. Parker. This is like almost a thousand pages. Is it a thousand pages? Oh no, it's not. It's like seven, 600. Oh, the font is quite big. It's like 700 pages, but right now I am in the middle of my Throne of Glass read and I'm reading Queen of Shadows, which is quite a chunker, so I don't think I want to pick out that one. I never really give romance books five stars. Actually, that's a lie. I just gave two romance books five stars, um, but I feel like, I feel like typically like fantasy or just like general fiction has a better chance of being a five star read. I also have Magnolia Parks by Jessa Hastings, which I am so excited to read. Um, but I know that people either love or hate this, so I don't know if I'm going to give it a high rating. I think the one I'm going to go with is Battle of Never After by Stephanie Garber. Especially since I just read Once Upon a Broken Heart last month, I really want to keep up with the series. I don't want to go too long between reading the next book. So I'm really, really excited to put that on my TBR. Next prompt. That's three. So three, four. <laughs> Read a fantasy book. Twist my arm, why don't you? <laughs> um, okay, so like, what I wish I could do is put Queen of Shadows on, but I'm already like 220 pages in, and I don't think that I should put a book that I've already started. What I could do, what I could do, is try this again. So this has been on previous TBRs. This is Ruthless Vows by Rebecca Ross. This would close out a series and I would feel so good about closing out a series. However, I like, I'm so scared to read this. Um, okay, that's an option, it's an option. Another option is The Cruel Prince, which has been on my TBR for a long time. And I feel like I want to get to this, but that would be starting a new series, which I don't, I don't know if I want to do right now. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is Ruthless Vows. So far, my TBR is not giving the vibe that I want it to give. I wanted it to have a little bit more romance. However... I think closing out a series will make me very, very happy. So I am going to put that on my TBR, and hopefully I will get to it. All right, prompt number five. Ooh, thriller slash mystery. <laughs> oh, crap. Okay. This is, like, exactly what I'm not in the mood for right now. However, that's okay. Okay. What is a thriller slash mystery that I want to read right now? GBR cart set up. Oh, I forgot I have books in the back. I forgot I have books in the back. Oh, we have a whole slew of books back here. I have a few options. So the first one that I pulled out is Agatha Christie's Murder on the Orient Express. I do not know much about this. However... It's quite short. Then I pulled out The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. This could be a good little YA brain break. And then I pulled out The Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware, which I read years ago and I really have been wanting to do a reread of. I think I'm going to go with this one. I don't typically reread books, but I really want to start rereading books. So The Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware. This takes place on a cruise ship. And I feel like, I feel like it'll be good. I remember loving it. I just want to refresh my memory and do a reread. So that's prompt number five. Let's do number six. Give me like a romance, please. We're gonna find a romance. I would love 
I don't think it's a oh but it doesn't have to be a romance that was, that was my my own doing um, was this released Twenty twenty three. Okay, I'm probably gonna do this one, but let me just get like one more just to round it out. Which is also twenty twenty three. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> so Ellen Hildebrand just screamed summer to me, and I feel like it would be wrong to not read this this summer. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna read the Five Star Weekend by Ellen Hildebrand. I'm excited. Okay. We have one summary book. Perfect. All right, two more prompts. An intimidating read. Great. Perfect. That's so what I wanted right now. Um, an intimidating read when the moon hatched because <laughs> I have other like fantasy series that intimidate me but I don't really want to dive into a new series so I think I'm gonna go with I'm sorry I have to sit down like this again I think I'm gonna go with The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna This TBR is something. <laughs> this should be our last prompt. Pending what I pick, because I'm scared. A book featuring one of the seven deadly sins. I think when. <laughs> I think when I put this on here, I wanted it to be from the Anna Huang series, but I kind of like softy enough that series. So I'm going to veto this prompt. I usually allow myself one veto. And there it is. That was such a specific prompt. A thriller or a mystery. I'm so I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm not putting another one on my DVR. <laughs> Part of the series. I feel like. Oh, you know what I'm gonna pick? Magnolia Parks by Jessa Hastings. I am going to pick this. I've. Do I have any other romances? I really, I really want to read a novel love story. I might still read it. Because like, like I said, this is not set in stone. But I'm definitely going to put Magnolia Parks. I am very excited to read this. And yeah. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do I pick a ninth? I did read nine books in July. This is going to be a mistake. Um, karma is going to come for me for this one. It's going to be like a non-fiction book. One word title. I'm going to go with Mama by Jessica George. And this is probably a mistake because... Like I said, I'm reading Queen of Shadows. I want to read a novel love story, but I have no self-control, so. Oh, let's do a little rearranging, and I will present my August TBR. For set at a school, we have Grimrose Girls. For my husband picks, we have The Shining. For five-star prediction, we have The Ballad of Never After. Can we? Can we relax? For read a fantasy book, we have Ruthless Vows. For read a thriller or mystery, we have The Woman in Cabin 10. For published in 2023, we have The Five Star Weekend. 
For an intimidating read, we have The Nightingale. A very intimidating. <laughs> for part of a series, we have Magnolia Parts. And for one more title, we have Mama. So this is my TBR for August. <sighs> Should be an interesting month, to say the least. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to see more videos from me in the future. And I will see you guys in my next video very soon. Bye!